problem right here here this question is asking determine the maximum allowable value of w over l if m1 must remain in saturation assume lambda is equal to 0 now in order to be in saturation we have to have vds that should be greater than vgs minus v threshold okay this is the condition for the saturation now vds can be written as vds is equal to vdd minus id times rd that is 1 kilo ohm in our case 1 kilo ohm now instead of this vds we are going to replace this vdd minus id times rd so this will become the condition will become vdd minus id times 1 kilo ohm should be greater than vgs minus v threshold now if we rearrange everything in terms of id the equation will become like this id should be less than if i bring if i keep id and uh, it, whenever you okay if i keep id this side this id is negative and if i divide this one by negative the sign will flip around that's how we got less than okay and then vdd minus uh, plus v threshold minus vgs divided by 1 kilo ohm okay and uh, we have vdd that is 1.8 v threshold is v threshold is 0 0.4 most of the time and VGS is also 1.8 so let's go ahead and plug it in the equation 1.8 plus 0 0.4 minus 1.8 divided by 1 kilo ohm and that gives us our ID value ID calculate ID will be 0 0.4 milliampere now there's another equation for ID ID is equal to half mu n c o x w over l vgs minus v threshold square here our purpose is to find out the w over l that's our that's the question is asking for so if you if we rearrange this one in terms of w over l the equation will become 2 id 2 id divided by mu n c o x vgs minus v threshold whole square now here double l is equal to this and w l is w over l is maximum allowance so maximum allowance means this one should be less than 2 times 0 0.4 milliampere over mu and COX is the value of mu and COX is 200 microampere per volt square times VGS is 1.8 1.8 voltage minus V threshold is 0 0.4 square and if you solve for W over L you will get 2.04 over 1 so w over l must be less than 0 2.04 over 1 this is a maximum allowance of allowable value of value of w over l to my uh, to remain this one to make this one remain in saturation region and that's how we do this kind of problems i hope you guys find this video helpful thanks for watching and if you are trying to learn electronics too, there are a bunch of videos in my playlist. I hope you guys watch that too. Don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.